Uh, hello, handsome. My name is Chiron, and you are... not like the others here. If you mean that I'm prettier, then thank you. I'm Latika. Olef's daughter. You know quite a lot about me. What are you doing here? I... I think I have a few questions. So ask away, handsome. Uh, do you know Gamat? What's all this about the cult of the savior? Oh, that's easy. Gamut needs the undead to dig. He plays the savior. The sick follow him, and he throws them into the pit. In the pit, the swamp joins with them. They are flushed to the excavation through an underground tunnel. And then they begin to work here. And with the gorge full of tentacles, no one can come here, allowing Gamat and Ulef to keep the fraud a secret from the Fernfielders. They mean well. Gamut really believes that there is hope of finding an Alhanian artifact here capable of curing the plague. His talisman is a fragment of this artifact. If we find it, it could heal all those suffering from the plague. So it's not entirely wrong to say that the Chosen bear a burden that the Swamp can take from them. How come you're not just stupidly working away here? You're undead too. Yes, but in good condition. At least better than the ones whose skulls I had to bust on the way here. Poor souls. But they have as much in common with you as they do with me. You are undead. You shouldn't be able to think or act independently. Yet you can. Can't you? I'm still fighting for my soul, but your fight should already have been decided. Weren't you a normal chosen? My soul is still in place. My father negotiated that with Gamut before he threw me into the life spring. I was among the first in Warrant to fall sick with the plague. About that time, my father met Gamut. I was the reason why father joined the Exodus. Do you know what Gamut promised the Archdemon Thargunitov? So that she would spare your soul? No, I don't know how much I'm worth to the Dark Mother. You're afraid of the answer. Yes, I am. Each and every time I see the ghoul eating one of the others. We undead just can't hit the ghoul hard enough, and we also can't perform any kind of magic that would kill him. I'm looking for two women who visited Gamat. A girl and an elf. Two? Flattering of you to come to me, then. But seriously, the two were with Gamat. He showed them the excavation. The girl was very curious. But I don't think they're in the Clawmore anymore. Gamet talked constantly about them soon leaving for the West. I think he was afraid of the elf. What did Gamet call the elf? Mother, perhaps? No, he called her Azaril. But she spoke repeatedly of the two siblings. It seems a brother of this girl and Gamet must have killed the oldest brother before he could marry. And then there's supposed to be another sister and brother. I didn't really understand it all. It was pretty complicated. Does the name Rio mean anything to you? My Rio? Of course! Will he be joining me soon? He is my first love, you know! When we are finally reunited, our love will last for eternity! Did he promise? He even swore it to me! I need to talk to Gamut. How can I get him here? Do you see the old machines back there? We had a lot of trouble with them because the belts are broken. If the construction machinery were working again, we would make better progress with the excavation and hopefully find the artifact more quickly. Maybe you're brave enough to steal the webs from the spiders that live here. The threads of spider silk can be used as belts for machinery. Once the machines are running again, it surely won't be long before Gamut shows up. Ceremonial robes, drive belts, hard to believe what can be made from spiders' webs. They are fine, strong, and glisten in the morning dew. Those who create them do so full of hope, and those who touch them cannot leave them. A bit like love, you know? Aha! Uh -huh. 
Just make sure you don't get stuck to the threads and get pulled into the machinery. What? Just a joke, Chiron. Well then, I'll just go deal with the spiders. <gasps> They're gone for now, but I'm sure she will send someone. She will send an awakened to get me. A ceremony. I must make preparations. It will soon be fuller here, Latika. Now, everyone must help. If we work together, we can do it. The artifact will bring us freedom. For you and me, and for the Chosen too. Soon we will all be saved. That's a great sacrifice for the village. Maybe he won't want to do anything to you. <laughs> if he comes, I mean. It is the only way. The struggle must have an end. What the... Gamat, finally! It's him! The Awakened is here! It was you! You got the machines working again! Ratchika, why didn't you warn me? You'll be sorry, you stupid piece of meat! Gamat, where's Kalandra? What game are you playing here? You think I'm weak? You all think I'm weak, but you are wrong! I will find it! I will escape your circle, Awakened, and my soul will be mine alone! Damn it! Listen to me, damn it! You stay right here, brother. If you continue to follow me, I'll take your life and your gift. Be warned, brother! Be warned! Obviously, I lured the rat from its hole. And what was that little show all about? He... he is afraid of you. But why? Have you heard the roaring? That was Gamut's most powerful ghoul. I think he is supposed to kill me. Just as I finally got the machines going. No, I won't let that happen. Thanks. Thanks, Chiron. Here, take this. Maybe it can help you against the ghoul. You seem to know Gamma quite well. He is a very sad and lonely man. And he is always afraid that someone will come and take him back. How do you know that? Whenever Gamut is feeling poorly, he talks to me about his worries. I am the only one who listens to him. Don't have much choice. Gamut and I have a lot in common, you know? Both of us are somewhere between worlds, without really belonging to anywhere. I'm not really an undead, and he is not really a necromancer. But rather... Well, he's part man, part swamp, and part... something really evil. Does Ulef know what goes on here? Not entirely. Gamut tells him that the Chosen are fine. He doesn't mention the bit about them falling apart while digging. Why? My father wants to believe Gamut. If he does not do what Gamut wants, the Holy Man will set the ghoul on me. He knows that. Sometimes I'd rather be dead. You are dead. Don't say things like that. I know myself that I exist against the will of the gods. Then what keeps you together? The hope. I mean, maybe we really can find the Alhanian artifact Gamut has promised us. That could save me. Wouldn't you rather go back to your father? You don't have to live here. I should return to Fernfield? Why not? Because I would destroy the illusion that gives the Fernfielders hope. On the other hand, the truth is important, and we don't know if the souls of the Chosen go to the gods or descend into the nether hells with Thargunitoth. No, no, I, I can't decide. Not right now. Do you really think Gamut has sent the ghoul after you? I talked to you. That's why he's supposed to tear me apart. But that doesn't make any sense. You or him? I chose wrong, Chiron, I'm afraid. 
please kill the ghoul. He would no longer eat the others here. I wouldn't have to be afraid anymore, and Gamut could no longer blackmail my father. Do you think Ulef would renounce Gamut if he had the choice again? I don't know, but there's a chance. Please, Chiron, please. Time for me to go. So, one less ghoul in the Clawmore. Thank you, Chiron. A pretty undead in trouble. Who could refuse? <laughs> Not that Rio gets jealous. You saved me. I have to thank you somehow. But now hurry. Gamut won't wait much longer with his ceremony. If I understood him correctly, he wants to send half Fernfield through the life spring. Then there will be a revolt. Genla's people will turn against him and Ulev. You have to stop him before it's too late. Don't you want to come with me? There's nothing I would like to do more. But I cannot stand between Genla and my father. That would only make things worse. Should the Fernfielders really learn the truth and lose all hope of entering their paradise? No, Chiron. That I cannot decide. It is up to you what you will do with the truth you have found here. It'll be hard to get out of here. The gate at the top of the gorge blocks my way out. You know... Gamut also didn't always need to die for coming here. There must be a secret exit in the ghoul's hideout. Now that the beast is gone, you can use it. Good luck, Latika. I'll see you later. Looking forward to it, handsome. Gamut is dead. Yes, he is. Well, now I am surprised. Wouldn't have thought it'd leave you looking like a Prios novice cheated at a shell game. Me neither. And I have another surprise. I hope it's better than the last one. Attractive. Young. Undead. You? Exactly. I haven't been cast down into the nether hells, even though Gamut is dead. Isn't that great? Do you know what you're going to do now? You mean, whether I'll stay here or leave Clawmore? I don't know. I don't have the faintest idea. Of course I want to see my father again, but not as an undead. Well, you're not exactly ugly. Really? Yes, uh, not repulsive or slimy anyway. And you've kept your sense of humor too. It almost sounds as if you're a little in love with me. Well, if I weren't looking for Calandra, you certainly wouldn't be the worst choice. Oh, too bad. But I'm sure the bards will sing songs about you and Calandra. It's so romantic. What does that mean? Falgunitoth doesn't have possession of your soul. At least not so firmly that she can wrest my soul away. Thanks to you, I'm free. My heart leaps for joy. Do you think there's something like an afterlife for the undead? I can only guess, but you'll find out someday. Hopefully not too soon. Gamak gave me his piece of the Alhanian artifact. Will you use it? I'll take you to Fernfield with me to help convince the villagers. But maybe there are more of these fragments. Maybe I can use this magic to come back to life. I really don't know if the magic is that powerful. I'm afraid you'll have to remain undead for a while. Hey, that wasn't very sensitive of you. You didn't even bat an eyelash as Gamut gasped out his last breath, either. I'm just happy that I'm still alive. <laughs> well, sort of. And what about your Rio? Oh, Rio. My Rio. Do you think he will love me as undead? Latika. I don't think that romanticism really exists for the undead. And unlike you, Rio isn't dead yet. Maybe you should let him go. Maybe you're right. I'll think about it. I'm going to head for Fernfield now. I hope you make the right decisions. I wish the same, pretty Latika. 
Perhaps we will see each other uh, again. Perhaps.